Welcome to the Empire, everybody. This is Rampain, and welcome back to my Oblivion Let's Play, where we're going to continue where we left off from last time. So, we just met Countess Silor, Janice de Silor. Although it was horrible conditions, I really should have. wish I could have waited uh, to get rid of the horrible conditions. Let me get rid of. Let me get rid of this torch. Because right now, let's see, what's going on with our quest? Because, let's see. So, Countess Sildor saved me from the ambush set by Maractus Hasidus, and I need to deliver this message back to Remnus Polis. Okay, I can do that. So, let me get on my damn horse, and then let us fast travel back to the Imperial City. I'm first actually going to stop by, I think my helmet's still damaged. Let me repair that, I think I forgot to. Yeah, it's got a zero damage rating right now, or armor rating right now, so it's not actually contributing. But no, so let's go back to the market district first. And then actually, I can talk about how it was uh, Berna uh, actually had some pretty good uh, comments in the last video about how right now my uh, current mace skill, like this one, if I use this, it doesn't really improve my damage all that much. Oh, it, okay, it kind of does goes up to like one point because if I compare this to the other version just the normal bound mace well I'm still going to have the strength up this time. Okay, I'll show that in a second um, unless that's gone how based on the way that the weapon rating and the damage are calculated increasing the strength of just the straight up attribute isn't going to do as much I as hope I um, can actually increasing just the straight up skill there is a little I bit of a cap um, in all of these that. I don't want to prepare those daggers because I'm just going to sell Have them. Have a look right. at my wares. Um, I'm sure there's something to but see. But the fact that it, like, I can't actually show you guys how the increased skill one would be more effective right now, but you can kind of go through his comment in the last video if you guys didn't see it, um, which I think is a really good comment, where yep. right now my mace with uh, the mace spell, with increasing my strength, makes it go from like 8.3 to 8.9 off of his calculations. Whereas if I increased my blunt instead, because right now my blunt skill, if I can go there actually, my blunt skill is only at 31. Um, so I could easily improve this quite a bit to get a quite a, a nice improvement overall. Good morning. But at the moment I don't have any increased skill uh, spells at the moment, so I'm not going to be able to really test that out. But I think that's definitely going to be something that we'll try and do for sure, because... We're always going to be limited by summoning weapons and armor. I know for sure if I just enchant something myself, I can make a really powerful weapon through doing that. But I'm trying to make sure I'm pure mage, so we kind of have to work with what we've got. Have you been to Skingrad and seen Count Hasseldorf? But let's continue with the quest. Uh, yes, I have. Saved you, did he? Well, that's a good sign. I must apologize. It was never the council's intention to put you in harm's way. I can't call bullshit. Uh, I'm gonna ask why you didn't the tell me the truth. The council's unique nature is not public knowledge. The council wishes to keep it that way. Okay. At the time, it was believed that there was no reason to inform you since it was not crucial to the task you were given. For that reason, I was unable to disclose more about his true identity to you. Clearly, that judgment was in error. I apologize. Yeah, that was. Okay, then why did you send Mage me? Traven feared that sending a high-ranking official with the guild might draw too much attention and provoke a reaction from the Count. I mean, it didn't already? We were also concerned that it might drive any necromancers in the area underground, making them more difficult to root out. Okay, that's understandable. We simply wanted to survey the situation in Skingrad. Our relationship with Hasseldor is tenuous at best. The Council has agreed to keep his nature a secret, and in exchange, he occasionally provides us with useful information. I can see how that, how that would help. As a vampire, the Count has few allies he can trust. He has disguised his nature from most, but cannot hide it from the Council of Mages, so he approached us with an accord. As you have seen, that agreement is under a great deal of strain lately. The Count does not agree with certain policies the Guild has established. 
It's not quite that simple. Hasseldor is powerful, to be sure. But the council does not consider him to be a threat. I still wonder how that works for him just After all, being the count. He has ruled over Skingrad for quite some time, without incident. Yeah, because how is that not suspicious? We feared Hasseldor may have been involved with the necromancers. Thanks to your involvement, it would seem that he is not. At least, not for the moment. We will continue to monitor the situation, but I assure you, we will make no further attempts to mislead you. Yeah, please don't do that. You have done your job admirably. Eventually, I want and to, I like, be the highest-ranking uh, mage in this guild, so don't piss me off early on. Um, can I ask for advancement yet? Your services to the guild have not gone unnoticed. Yeah, As of this Evoker. moment, you have gained the rank of Evoker. Along with your new rank, Ooh, rank please and take and this amulet. May it help keep you safe in times of danger. What's it going to have on it? So, Spell Drinker amulet. Ooh, what's that to I wonder? We'll start checking a second. for it? If not, I understand you've been through quite a bit lately. Let's see what, what, what Very we got. well. There's a research project going on at one of the alien ruin sites on the eastern side of the province. Oh, yay. My favorite Here pastor. Here on is in charge <laughs> of the project by alien and ruins. is apparently in need of some help. I thought you might need a break after the things you've been exposed to lately. You can find Erlov in the Archmage's Tower. Okay. Uh, what can you tell me about He's a good man, but council matters have distracted him lately and he's been neglecting his other work. Eh? Uh, now, what is this amulet about? Oh, also, one other thing I actually want to check. Um... Because technically fatigue might also actually affect the weapon damage of this. There's one thing I was going to check. So like right now, see it's at 8. Just on its own. No. The, the uh, max of fatigue is uh, used in the calculation. But I guess it's only a spell absorption 15% on stuff. Ooh. Yes. I like that. Actually, with that, that might be really useful for when I go up against the um, vampires... For, um, oh, I can't remember. Azura. <laughs> for Azura's quest. I still need to do that. I think I might try that once I have finished. Once I've finished the Mage's Guild quest, I think I might do that. Or at least once I get my Conjuration to 100. Because basically what I'm going to be doing is once I get my Conjuration to 100, I can kind of start freely just using it and not have to worry about leveling up. And I can just be like, okay, I want to level Destruction now. Or actually, I want to level up. Because I still want to focus on intelligence. So we can say, hey, we want to use uh, mysticism spells to be my actual rank ups for leveling up. But I can still use conjuration as a way to defend myself. And it won't it won't matter. It'll let me just continue leveling up a bunch of other skills. Make it so I slowly level up at that point. Um, but now where the hell is this guy? Welcome out. Right here! <laughs> They told me I should go in here. Read any good oh, books lately? That's get back here. I need to speak to Hello, you. Mate. You're about Vatican, are you? Ah, uh, yes. It's a damn shame. I haven't been giving the project the attention it deserves. The last report I received from Scalil indicated there was some sort of um, a blocked passage or something that they couldn't get past. Okay. I'd investigate it further, but I'm needed here with the council. Ramanus says you've got a good head on your shoulders. Yes, the bed head on Look my into it for me, will you? You can find Scalil at the site. Access is restricted, so you'll need this key. Okay. What can you tell me about the place? It's an alien ruin southwest of Chadenhall. We suspect that there are some interesting things inside, so a research project was established. Okay. Scalil is there now, working on investigating the ruins. What can you tell me about Scalil? She's the mage up the on-site research. She can tell you more about whatever it is that's impeding their progress. Okay. Well, let's I make our way over there. there. I don't have... Was this maybe one of the ones I saw when I'm on my way to Shade now? Because... Oh, no. Okay. I thought it might have been referencing this one. Because I know I remember seeing one along the path. 
Okay. So now we can just fast travel just straight there. We'll travel to the stables as if I was using my horse. And I'll just walk over there. You know, because my conjuration spell is almost maxed. Honestly, because what will happen once I have... Like, if I ever get my blunt to 100, because a lot of the stuff in those calculations, there's a soft cap and a hard cap. A hard cap for a lot of skills and attributes is about 225, which makes sense based on binary. And, but most of the soft cap stuff will kind of be... Oh, a lot of the skills will hit their soft cap earlier on in those calculations. Probably or, or roughly around 100 from what's going on in uh, Bedivarine's... Oh my god, game, please stop. Bedivarine's uh, calculations in the comments. Um, and so, late game, I can kind of see that, like, my end game kind of conjuration spells, maybe it'll just be I have summon something that's has a really long duration, because I can't summon a weapon and give the weapon an enchant, technically. I can't do that, right? Like, could I technically... Because I think if I did, it would be like, hey, you summon this mace, and if I tried to give it, like, a drain health or something like that, it would be like, oh, no, 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 you can't do that, because it'll just affect you specifically. So it looks like it's just down here. The game's really fucking lagging. It's pissing me off, honestly. Okay, game, you gonna work now? Please fucking work. Don't tempt me into wanting to get a new solid state drive when I shouldn't be get trying to get one now. Uh, I've been way too tempted to do that recently. Especially since I saw something on Micro Center where it was like, Oh, hey, look at this solid state drive that's on sale. I'm like, mm, I don't need it. I don't need it. Other one thing that I found interesting recently is I looked back at uh, my old solid state drive, and when I got that, and like, oh wow, this thing's like almost six years old, and uh, it's like I forgot this is like some weird ass hybrid. I don't have a true solid state drive, and like, I should get one, <laughs> especially since my mother board uh, now supports uh, PCIe uh, M2. I definitely think I need to get one. I don't know where the hell I'm going. Oh god. Let's not get my horse killed. I'm trying, I'm not. Oh god, what am I? Oh, what the fuck? Um. I don't know where I'm going, but I might accidentally get my horse killed. I'm on the side of a fucking mountain. Oh, here we go. My horse is a boss. Oh god, what is going on? Uh. Okay. Um, not the way <laughs> I was supposed to get here, but we found it. I'm sorry, horse. I am so sorry. Do I have any healing potion, uh, healing spells that are touch spells? Um, on self, self. No, I don't. I'm sorry, horse. You're healing, right? Please heal. Now it should be right up here. I don't think an alien. Thought it was supposed to be locked. You lying to me, game. Well, let's go down. I don't see anybody. Oh, actually, one thing I wanted to check because I want to see if the, the same was true for my bound bow spell I made, if that's not going to actually increase my damage much. My bound bow... Let's test that again. So bound bow. If I do that right now, that is how much damage? Three on it, and the arrows I don't think are going to do anything, so they're three and two. But then if we compare it to my other bound bow... How much does this one do? Three and two... <laughs> <laughs> Nothing! Yes, I should just increase the actual um, skill and not the stats. Doesn't really do much for me. It actually might help with stealth a little bit, maybe. Maybe. Okay, but we can worry about that later. I need to find a increased skill spell or some way to get the effect. And then, and then I can actually try and make a new version of that spell that will have that. I think this will work for now. 
if anything, having increased... The duration is mainly what I want right now, is a longer duration with the spell so I don't have to continuously recast it. That's the main thing, although if I really want to adjust that, uh, it would cost a lot less. Oh, here's the thing. Hello? You have business here? Don't tell me Jarl sent you. Uh, yes he did. Erlov sent you, did he? Figures. He can't be bothered to come check on his own project, so he sends someone who knows nothing about it. And this is supposed to help? No offense to you, friend. It's not your fault. And perhaps you can help. If you can figure out how to use the pillar, I'd be thrilled. You're welcome to try your hand at it. Uh, sure, I can take a crack at it. What can you tell me about this pillar? That's what we're calling it, only because we don't know what it really is. Or was. It's magical. We know that much. Enchanted somehow. We think it's a lock of some sort, but haven't been able to figure out how it works. Hmm. All okay. I can say for sure is that it reacts to magic badly most of the time. Several mages were hurt attempting to cast spells at it. Okay, don't know spells. It's at the bottom of the runes. If you wish to try your luck, be careful though. It could be quite hazardous to your health. It might. Best to play it safe. No complex magic. Stick to basic spells with single effects. It's not worth taking unnecessary oh, risks. That's like a jab at my new things that I did. Okay. Oh, can you tell me about the, this place? This in place has been nothing but trouble as far as I'm concerned. Since we disposed of the creatures that had taken up residence here, it's been nothing but a fight to figure out how the place works. The pillar has had us stumped for more than a week now, not to mention the injuries it's caused. Okay. Well, let's go what find a this pillar. Waste of my also, I want everything else that's in here. Oh, I should have done that. Eh? Damn it. I really need to get the skeleton key. Because that, I would assume, is Nocturnal's shrine. I just don't know where the hell that shrine is. Technically, these are not stealing, so I'm just going to take them. At least the 81. That one's worth something. This is just empty. Okay. So they said they were down, because what's this quest log been updated? So, a room in the pillar reacts to magic, and you figure out how it works, but I must be careful so that I'm not harmed. So this is I stay away from anything but simple single effect spells. Okay, well. What is this pillar? Is there anything else really in here as well? I don't think there's gonna be much to steal in here, is there? Or collect. Chest. Oh! Uh, these are all mine. Taking all those. Who are you? Sent you in to try your hand at the thing, have they? Uh, yes. What can you I tell don't me about know how much Scalil told you. We know that it reacts to magic, but every time we've tried, the thing shocks whomever cast the spell. It hasn't been fatal for anyone yet, but we stopped trying after the first few attempts. I can tell you, it really hurts. Yeah, no shit. The only thing we haven't figured out is the markings. You see them on the walls? They must relate to the pillar, but I don't know how. If we had some sort of reference, something to compare them to, we might be able to decipher them. But we lack anything like that. Okay, so the Skalil might have a book that would be useful, but she's been sulking over the way Erlov's been treating her. Perhaps you could ask her for it. Uh, yeah, that might be good. I don't know. Oh, is that maybe the that same might help explain took? these inscriptions in the ruins. Maybe. They're like nothing we've seen to date. Okay, let me go back up to her and ask Goodbye. about the book. Because I grabbed a book. I don't know if that's the same book he's referencing or if it's a book that she has on person. So let me talk to her first. See what's going on with that. If there's about anything about Vatican... Uh, the references. I don't know why Dental is even trying. This is doomed to fail. But fine. If he wants it, he can have it. It's just one more thing I'll get blamed for in the end. 
Okay, no, it is a separate book. What a waste of Okay, let's go back down there, and then we're going to read through it and... S well, first let's look at the markings and see what I can kind of figure out myself. Then we'll compare them to the reference thing. Let's see if we can figure out this puzzle. This way it's not going to be too difficult, honestly. Be careful in here. Pillar. So... Read tablet. Inscription reads, Ahmolag Anionics. Looks like there are some stones here that are not lit up. Ahmafre Nagaya. This one says, Magica Zarya. Pretty simple, at least. Um, I will take all these. These are mine. Um, and then what's this one say? It says, Magica Sila. Okay, now let's compare to the book and see what we can glean from that. Ah, here it is. So what does it guys say? Okay, so inscription and translation by the following inscriptions for painting the instruments trying to return the Mountaineers. From fire life, from light magic. That one seems familiar. I think that was the one over there. Uh, you're not similar, you're not similar. Just gonna go like how I did through, uh, college. Just look for things that seem familiar. That's not familiar. Oh no, it's just those three? Okay, well, from fire, life, from light, magic. Ah, uh, from a lot of famous. I think that one was this one. Yes, so my best guess now to do this. Um, I don't think it matters what, but simple. Does it need to be a projectile, maybe? Oh, that did something. Ow, that shocked me. So I think I did too much, so I think one. Yeah, okay. So that did something. So what do these other ones say? This one says Oh Mafre Nike. Let's go back to the reference. to that. Because... Yeah, I can't find in this reference. No, no, no. Because I found this, yeah, from Fire Life. That makes sense. But obviously, magic is magic. Life armor. So we figure out one. So this is Magica Loria. My brain immediately almost thinks like the lore magic. I'm assuming it feels like just Sila. It's moved. Can I ask you about other things? Go ahead. Can I ask you about the You got the book, eh? Good for you. I've given up trying to deal with her for now. I'll tell you what. I'll take the book, and then if you can read me the inscriptions, I'll see if I can find the translations for them. Oh, oh maybe they okay. Translations. Okay. Um, this one. Mafre seems to translate to frost, so a spell with frost damage should work for it. Anything else? 
Okay, so frost for that. It means Magicka shines. And taken in context with the other inscription about Magicka darkening, perhaps there's an alternate translation. Like a light if spell? we assume it means Magicka waxes, then a spell increasing Magicka might be what we need. Something that fortifies it, perhaps. Okay. Okay. Okay, so let's try those out first. So this is kind of exciting, don't you? This one right here is the one that they thought was frost damage. I have cold touch. They all touch spells. I think they're all touch spells. Uh, where'd my other one go? Ah, cold touch. Um. Okay. Okay, so that did something. So, the sill one. Okay, let's get through there. This is the other magic of Scylla. And you, were, you thought something that fortifies Magicka? I did just make this spell. I also think they probably gave me all the spells that I'd need in here. Because I could go and make all the ones if I really need to. Let me see if there's one that they have that like fortifies Magicka or something on here. Yeah, no. Elevate Magicka. Um, okay, give me a second. Let me wait before I use that on there because it's my only scroll I've got. Yes? What's the other translation okay. you have for Loria? It means Magicka darkens. Considering the other inscription, it could be translated to mean magical wanes, along with magical waxes. Perhaps a spell that damages magicka is what you're looking for. Okay. Okay. This is kind of exciting. Don't you? So for this one, we need something that amplifies magicka. So. Uh, let me select this one. Oh, it's already selected. No. What the hell? Okay. Damn it, now I don't have anything that... Okay. I might need to go make a spell quickly and come back here because uh that was my only spell of that only one i had i've got flare like yeah this boom it works this one um i can switch over to my cold touch one and then that will easily open up this one cold touch there that works um did they mix them up, maybe? Okay, well, let's see. I have... I'm assuming there's one... Damage will power, damage fatigue. Is there one that damages... Damages Magicka, or is it just the willpower one? There's the willpower one. Where'd that one go? Uh, this one, it seems like he might have had that mixed up, so... Nope. I'm gonna fuck out here. Be careful in here. Okay, what the hell's with these last two? I'm gonna have to make spells. I'm gonna have. Okay. We're gonna go back to the Arcane University, quickly make some spells. Because. If it is Wax and Wane of Magicka, then. I don't know. I'll, I'll, I'll come back to you guys here after I make simple spells for that. Okay, so. I wasn't. A, I didn't have a damage magicka skill or spell, so I was hopping about the different towns. And Skingrad had one here. This guy, uh, Sever Magicka. This will be something simple enough I can grab for now. That should fit the bill. Also, actually, um, I think if I grab one of these weaknesses to something, at least magicka type, um, it'll be something I can do for later. 
I must be if you should get a, a long range thing. But no, let me get a. I'm gonna grab a weakness to. Actually, no, I have a weakness to get frost. Let's do that. Because I want to try and make some spells like that I at some point. Like, make a, a touch frost Greetings spell. Do. That would be. Because it seems like it will cast them in sequence, so they're not cast at the same time. So I can cast basically the uh, weakness to magicka first, and then. Or weakness to frost first, and then do a uh, the frost damage afterwards, so they should actually take more damage. Like, that's a, a skill I can definitely see making for myself later on. But let's see if this is what I need, because I made a very simple one um, to try and use on the pillar for uh, fortifying magic. Oh, wrong way, this way. You need to go this way, and hopefully he didn't mess up uh, the description, or I don't know, because I used, I used the scroll, and it didn't work. We'll try this one more time and see if we can get this, because I have the fire and the frost down. Those work. Um... I'm assuming it, it has to be related to Magicka somehow, I just don't know how. So let me get... I need my fire spell back up. Just a touch. Be so. careful in here. Boom. Ah! And then... Uh, where did it go? I keep losing it. Cold touch. Ah! Can't please stop it. Um, let's go here. And so there's that one. Um, this was, Loria was, let me double check with him, I think this is the damaged one? Yes. Damaged Magicka one? Translations, Loria. It means Magicka darkens. Considering the other inscription, it could be translated to mean Magicka wanes, along with Magicka waxes. Perhaps a spell that da- So this is the one he thinks that damages okay. Magicka. This is kind of exciting. It's all right here. Um, that was Sever Magica. Okay, that didn't fuck up. Now this one, this should be the Fortify. So I made this generic Fortify one, and hopefully, aha! It opens. Now, what does the quest say? So I've solved the puzzle of the pillar, opening up more of the ruins. Yeah. Well, let's go exploring them. The one time they're actually telling me to properly explore these areas. I'm okay with this. Oh, there's a ghost already. Ooh, that uses so much of my magic. But, now it does last a hell of a longer. I honestly... Ooh, you do a lot of damage. Yes. Oh, god damn it, Demon Todd, I didn't mean to hit you. Fight him, Demon Todd. I really feel like I should just Oh god damn it, Kim. I really should just make a new spell. Why am I doing that? I don't have a soul gem to fill. Okay, that guy is kicking my ass, and honestly, I hate- I shouldn't have made these, uh, bound spells. They are so bad. They take up way too much of my magicka, where it's not worth it. So, I'm making new spells. Uh, I'm going to remake my- so we're gonna go with, again, the bound mace. Duration. 30 seconds. And then that's just it. I'm just gonna have just that for now. So this is gonna be bound... One. Because the other ones I didn't actually. I just made them fortified bound mace. So I'll make that. Uh, still takes the same conjuration skill, but it's gonna cost a lot less magicka, which Thanks. is what I need. Uh, I'm gonna. I can wait on the bow one. I think. Now we'll make the bow one now too as well. Might as well. So again, 30 seconds, just so it's a reduced cost. And then bound bow number one. So I'm probably going to be making new versions of these. And then actually, while I'm here... Um, so, okay, no, this is weakness to frost, so it'll be specific. So I need to find a weakness to magic if I want that. So let's do this. Um, do I want to be touch or ranged? Touch will be easier. 
Uh, duration, it doesn't need to be long. So three seconds. Let's do just before it increases the cost. Oh, it doesn't matter for that because the menu is so low. Um, I want 50% uh, weakness to frost. Oh, wow, I can actually add a pretty nice duration on this. Say five? Fuck it, magnitude of 100. Let's try that. So first do weakness to frost for five seconds on touch. Because the way these spells will work... Oh, um, now if I do frost damage touch, it'll actually be a bit easier to do it over time. So let's say three seconds. 15. Because right now mine currently does 45 damage. So for this duration, okay, so that would be increases the weakness to frost for 100% for 5 seconds. And then frost damage 15 points for 3 seconds on touch. I'm going to double check my, make sure I'm, make sure frost weakness operates the same way I think it does in Oblivion, just to make sure. Okay, that, that works exactly as I expected. So it will increase the damage by 100% for that duration. Maybe it should be cheaper just to have it be in one. 80. 80 versus. Eh. Side up three. No, it'll be cheaper for this. Okay. Because I could have it be so for five seconds. No, I'll just have it be for three seconds. Why could it be five seconds for ten? I need to change this then, so this is a little longer. Let's change that duration to um, seven seconds? Say 10 seconds. There we go. So we've got 74, 122, 122 to make. So let's just have this be like chilled, touch. Oh, that's not useful, touch. Touch. Because I'm probably gonna make a, be a better version of this. I could, uh, no, I don't have, I don't have the different weaknesses to magics. So let's do that. So frost damage, there'll be 50 points of frost, technically up to 100 points of frost over five seconds. Yes. There we go. Because what is my destruction right now? I can use that, right? I'm gonna make sure I can actually use that. Yes, my destruction is high enough that I can use that. Okay. Now, let's actually go back there and explore the rest of that room. Okay, now knowing that there's going to be an angry motherfucker in there, let's quickly do that. Get the increase for 30 seconds. Get my bound mace ready. Jump in! Actually, I was going to be using... I was going to be using that spell. That should get you out, and then use the frost damage one. So this should do... What, 120 damage, I think it was? Um, I am going to need one of my stones. Or actually, there's some healing... Oh, actually, Fortify Magico, that would be... I'll have that on instead of the spell. Uh, Fortify Dirt Intelligence, too. Why the hell not? Uh, and then I do... Have... Oh, that was actually a pretty strong one. Damn it! That was worthless. Okay, so I do have to hit it with one of mace. Whoa. There we go. That's much better. So I have you just focus on that. Just keep using the black mace at least. Holy shit! Oh boy, that hurt. That really fucking hurt, man. Oh, Jesus Christ. How did you hit me for so fucking much? Please tell me there's not a bunch of these shits down here. That's one of you. Only fucking one of you. Oh, God. Now, what is it giving me for... Is there, like, some guy below me, technically? Yeah, okay, because if I go to the local map... Oh, yeah. This is some exploring. Might actually have to wait until the next video for this. I thought this might take less time. Um, but if everybody's like that dude, we might have to wait. Let's see what's in here first. Ah ha ha ha! I'm used to this trap now. 
Here's the skelly. Skelly boy. I don't worry about you. Skeleton. Ooh, actually not bad. The cats, bone meal, and some gold. Good, because I'm a little poor right now. Oh. What the hell? Why'd you shoot me? I did nothing to you. Oh, there are three of you. Uh, which way is the way I need to go? I might just ignore you guys. Distract them, Demon Todd. Uh, nope. Not falling for that. you little turrets. Just... Because what are those guys res resistant to for damage types, I wonder? Because Frosted... At least kill this guy. He's in my way. Get out of here, Fated Wraith. I do need a longer duration spell for summoning something. Because I know I can't make them stronger, but I could make them last longer, if anything, at least. Why do you want to hit me so much? Please stop! Let me just get the dragon skin out of the other. I can last longer in LA. Although, not by much, that still hurts. Hi. You're not. Leave me be! Focus on Demon Todd, you shit! Just gonna ignore him. Just just, just going to ignore him, I see. Uh, I think my turn on dead spell is too low level right now. Uh, brain health? I don't know. Nope, that's gonna get me killed. That is gonna get me killed if I do that. Uh, I don't have any heals, do I? Do I? Use these for how magica, but they're still coming. Demon Todd. Please kill him, Demon Todd. I'm so low on health. Stop. Stop fucking with my magic my stats, please. Like, please, just stop that. Almost dead too. There you go, you little shit. Now leave me be. Please. Oh, he actually had an elven short sword. Holy shit. Yes, please. That's mine. That's why you hurt so much. Oh, I didn't heal at all from that. Huh. Okay. Uh, yeah, I think there's actually going to be more to this place than I thought. Well, it is this room, but I'll save this for the next video. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this. If you guys did, maybe like, comment, and or subscribe. If you guys did not, please let me know why so I can try and improve. Also check out my Discord. It's a great way to interact with the rest of my community and get updates on videos. Additionally, there are plenty of other ways to continue to support my channel in the description, so you can check that out. This is Rampant, and I'll see you guys next time.